Things are continuing to get worse for Alabama's star basketball player, Brandon Miller. And a big controversy is brewing right now in the NCAA. After Brandon Miller was not punished by Alabama or the NCAA, despite being involved in an investigation into a murder. If you recall, about a month ago, we saw an Alabama player, Darius Miles, be arrested for murder after killing a young woman. And now, Brandon Miller's involved in that investigation because it turns out... Brandon Miller is the one who brought these people the murder weapon. He brought it in a car. His lawyers are saying, I never handled the gun. He didn't know it was going to go on. He never knew it was going to happen. But there are some text messages out there that seem pretty incriminating. However, the police have admitted that they don't have enough to charge Brandon Miller on. They've said we don't have enough to charge him on, but we do know that this is how he was involved. Despite all this, despite the ongoing trial and litigation, Brandon Miller was allowed to play. He was not punished by the NCAA or by Alabama. A lot of people have a problem with that. And to his credit, he went out there that first night against South Carolina two nights ago, and he dominated 41 points, the most he's had this season, the most we've seen this season for a freshman in NCAA basketball. But that has not stopped people from speaking out about this, including the crowd in South Carolina when he played, and including by the parents of the young woman, the young mother who was murdered. Parents of Tuscaloosa mother murdered by Alabama basketball player. It's unimaginable they let Brandon Miller play. Wednesday night's game wasn't just a display of top prospect Brandon Miller's play. It was a bitter reminder for the family of slain 23-year-old Jamia Janae Harris. Jamia's parents spoke out about Alabama's decision to let Miller play against South Carolina just a day after his potential connection to the murder was unveiled. Speaking with USA Today after the 78-76 Alabama overtime win, Harris's mother bashed the men's basketball program for not disciplining Miller and letting him carry on. It's unimaginable, and it's like his life is just going on. He took a brief pause, and it didn't stop. It's like, okay, slap on the wrist and go play ball. They're worried about his career, but what about this five-year-old boy? He's the true victim in all this. He won't have a mother anymore to influence his growing up and who he's going to be. And it is a, it's a complicated situation, as I said in the first video I did about this, because... You have someone who now we do clearly have evidence of how they were involved in this thing, whether or not you could prove that he knew anything was going to happen. It's, it's a pretty sketchy situation. You can go and look at the video I did a couple days ago if you want to get more details on that. But he's the one that brought the gun. He's the one that put his car there. And he's the one that was there when all this went down. Yet, the police have said we're not charging. We don't have enough to charge him, at least at this point. So, you know, I've always been someone who says I think you should let it play out in court. However, this is a little bit different situation and a highly volatile situation. This is what he faced at South Carolina. Listen to this. Now you see the student section, not a very full crowd, but then you see the student section, uh, see an opportunity to talk to Brandon Miller and uh, they're saying lock him up. I imagine you're going to see a lot of that directed towards Brandon Miller throughout the rest of the year. It's obviously going to be a big distraction for Alabama, for Brandon Miller. I think that performance says he's really using it to motivate himself. But when you have the parents of a murdered woman coming out, speaking out about this, it's just a bad look for Alabama, regardless of what you think the right move is or should be. Let me know what you think about all this in the comments section below. And what would you do? What would you do if you were the coach of the NCAA or Alabama in this situation? I would hope that even though we're one of the best teams in the country, that I might have the uh, you know the, the intestinal fortitude, the integrity to say maybe we should at least sit down and wait till some of this plays out and see how things go. But what's the right answer? Let me know in the comments below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later.